and then Rufus greased the bees with fat for deep frying just so he could... Wait a second. Here he is again. Let's talk later, okay? I don't want him to hang around here without supervision. Ah! Poor Tony! Ah! Hi, Rufus. Thanks again for the bird. Rufus is no good, Nick. Ah! Such a smart animal. <laughs> What are you doing? I better take him back. You're a bad influence on him. You do that. I already have a sore throat. Repeating myself all over again makes me quite depressed. Those are all lies, you hear? Rufus, don't have expired. <laughs> Cheap lies. Inspector Gizmo speaking. You have an emergency to report? Rufus has stolen the screws off the children's merry-go-round. Rufus! I should have thought as much. What else do you know? Rufus has caused a nuclear meltdown. Rufus has stolen the antenna of Miss Ingle's tractor. A little slower, please. I can't follow you. Could you repeat that, please? I don't know if this was such a good idea. Could you repeat that, please? Oh, well, it'll be all right. At least the line is busy now. <laughs> the operator will be overjoyed. What else do you know? Rufus is no good, Nick. Ah! What else do you know? Rufus has poured cod liver grease into the water supply. Next, please! Next, please! Next, please! Next, please! Next, please! <laughs> I bet their message makes more Next, sense than anything please. the ever typed. The operator will Next, thank please! Me. Next, please! Next, please! Next, please! Rufus is a no good Nick. Please! Ah, Rufus abused the harvester to steal tiles from the temple Next, room. Please. Ah. Rufus? Next, please! Ready to go. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Uh, Cletus? Chunk slide hazard in the northern quadrant, caused by a flock of stampeding... Cletus! Come on! Your love is the most wonderful gift! Cletus? Cletus! <sighs> Rufus is the most wonderful gift. They call him Rufus. Rufus! <laughs> Searching for my fiancé, calling all inhabitants of Deponia. Hey, wait a second. Name is Cletus. I am searching for my fiancé. Possibly, she is... Cletus? Cletus! Is that you? This is Rufus. Can you hear me? Hello, Rufus? Are you on Deponia? I found your fiancé! Are you sure? Of course I'm sure! Tall? Long hair? Brain implant fell from a passing organ on cruiser? She asked about you! Believe me, she's your fiancé! What's your price? First, I need some answers! Answers? Depends on what you want to know! Are you really from Elysium? Of course I am, but I don't get why you should care where I come from. What's it like on Elysium? Well, it's not as dirty and uncivilized as down here, and the people are less annoying, too. Brilliant! Sounds like the perfect place for me. What was your fiancé doing on board an Organon cruiser? 
That's none of your business. But isn't it a bit strange that a woman from Elysium was... Don't worry about things that go far over your head. Let's get down to business. Are the Organons planning something? Why do you want to know that? Listen, never get involved in matters of the higher spheres. You'll never understand what's happening up there above your head, let alone influence any of that. Don't even bother to try. Has your fiancé always been a bit odd? What? What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Uh, okay. Let's assume for a second that your fiancé is suffering from a kind of, um, concussion. A concussion? Yeah, but a purely hypothetical assumption. <laughs> then you shouldn't waste time and get her to me. You'll be very sorry if you've hurt her. I need her brain to be fully functional. You really love her, don't you? A and you two are really engaged? Why are you asking me that? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Oh, just, uh... <laughs> Chewing the fat? Does your fiancé have a sister by any chance? What are you talking about? Oh, it's just a... <laughs> just a thought. You should spend less time thinking. Seems like your head isn't up to the task. No further questions. Very good. Maybe we can go back to the matter at hand. Of course. Where were we? You wanted to make demands. What do you want in return for my fiancé? I want you to take me with you to Elysium. <laughs> Impossible! Well, that's my price. Either I can come along to Elysium, or... Listen, I can't take you to Elysium. There must be something else you need. Nope. I want a passage to Elysium or nothing at all. Well, then you'll get nothing at all. Well, if that's what you want, you can go ahead and cancel your wedding. Wait a minute. Maybe there's a way. I knew it. Bring gold to me. We'll meet at the Lower Ascension Station at the shore of the Rust Red Sea tomorrow night. I'll be waiting on top of the platform. Do you think you can make it there? Tomorrow night? Well, I don't know. If, uh... I thought you wanted to get to Elysium. What didn't you find, Goal, after all? Well, I, I did. I did. Well, then we have a deal. I'll meet you after sunset. Cletus, over and out. Just... W w wait a second. I... Cletus? Okay, Upper Ascension Station. Down on the... Uh, up on the Lower Ascension Station. Up on top of the platform. Ha! Huh, easy as pie for a guy like me. Elysium, I'm coming! But where is Goal? What the? Hey, what are you doing? Gizmo! Look at you! Finally, I brought you to justice! What is that supposed to mean? It's me, Rufus! I know, and believe me, it was not easy to solve this case. The case of your missing IQ? No, I'm talking about a series of crimes that have been committed this very morning. Ever since that girl appeared, our community has been in turmoil. Arson, sabotage, disrespectful behavior toward the authorities. You don't have any proof of any of that, you stupid idiot. Theft. I'm innocent. Yeah, okay, let me rephrase that. If I am guilty of any crime at all, then that crime is love. Everything I did, I did for goal. Where is she, by the way? Has she gained full consciousness yet? No, but she needed more room. She's with Mr. Wenzel. What? That treacherous toad? That's unfair. I found the Elysian. Me! It was me! Who found the Elysian? Uh... Wenzel found the Elysian. It was Wenzel, none other than him. Excuse me, but who are you? My name is Argus, Bailiff Argus, Organon Prime Administration. Ooh, the prime authority in my office. And I forgot to brush my teeth. 
How can I be of help, Bailiff? I heard you have an Elysian woman in custody. These are community matters. Is that so? Interesting. What if an Organon search party was to reduce your community to rubble? Would that be community matters as well? Don't let him threaten you, Gizmo. The girl is with Mr. Wemzel. Gizmo, no! You'll find his house below the water tank right next to the town gate. Thank you, Inspector. You just saved your community a lot of suffering. Yeah, really. Well done. Shut up. What? What was that sound? How about emergency? Fire control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. What happened? Where's the fire? Oh, Mr. Firefighter, my poor kitty climbed up the tree and she's afraid to come down. Don't worry, madam. I'm a professional. Come, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Genius prevails. <laughs> Wenzel! Rufus! What... What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Ha! You know very well what I'm doing here. Where is she? Rufus, please, let me explain. No, you spineless traitor. It's not what you think. We'll see about that. Ah! Tony? You? What are you doing here? Me? I don't know. Finally, at a loss for words, I don't believe it. But I don't care what you think. There is an easy explanation for all this. What? No! no I, I don't even want to know. I, I don't even remember asking. Keep your gross secrets to yourselves. I just want to know where Goal is. Who's Goal? Oh, so your little lover boy here didn't tell you about his other conquest. Conquest? Wenzel, what is he talking about? Why are you dressed like that? Well, um... I thought, uh... Oh. And who the heck is Goal? No one, really. I mean, she's not even working properly. What the... Where is she, Wenzel? I put her in the basement. In the basement? Well, I see that you two have a lot to talk about. Have fun. <laughs> Goal! Wardrobe, too small. Just too small. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. I I'll get you out of here. Open up! Organ on! But you're already inside. No excuses. The strong suspicion arose that you are harboring a member of the Resistance on the run. Rufus, what kind of mess is he in now? So, you admit your crime. We haven't been harboring anyone. He just burst in. Go ahead. He's down in the cellar. Uh-oh. I have to think fast.
Now as it is written, our hero was smitten and rescued the maiden from impending doom. On a horse made of steel, evil guys on his heels, he rode with a girl into dawn's early gloom. She awoke by his kiss, well at least more or less, and the whole part concerning the uppercut scare can be pinned at least to some extent on her damaged brain and plan. Anyway, in a big picture, who's gonna care? Who's up? Who's gonna care? Oh, what a pain in the... Ooh, you really could make yourself a bit lighter, you know? Araba, flopper bubba. Yeah, yeah, you don't say. From bad to worse, where are we anyway? Hey, that's the old junk mine rail system. Back in the day, it was used to transport heavy loads to the lower ascension station. Oh, sorry, babe. Don't take it personally. Now, I just need to find some kind of rail car and a way to get goal on it. Let's go! Quite a drop. Luckily, I fell onto the backbone of some poor sucker whose fall wasn't as lucky as mine. Ah, oh, looky here. Seems like the bridge collapsed. Doesn't matter though. It isn't the first bridge that I've torn down today. And goal. Oh, what am I gonna do with goal now? Damn! Huh. The unconscious woman in peril is caught on the other side of the canyon, and this is a rusty old crane for loading rail cars. Well, you don't have to be a genius to make the connection. Come on now! Ah, nothing! Damn! No matter what awaits me behind it, I'm prepared. This is beyond repair. Let's throw it out. Huh. Nothing. I have to stop expecting quality craftsmanship everywhere. Whoa, who's that? Hmm, a rusty drain pipe, chewing gum, some floss. Ah, this will make a magnificent prosthetic. Dum de dum de dum. Hi there. Huh? What? Oh, hello. Who are you? Why do you want to know that? Are you a spy of the Organon? What? I d No! My name is Rufus. Yeah, I know I sometimes come across as enigmatic and threatening, but... <laughs> it was just a joke, Rufus. Of course you're not a spy, the way you're dressed and all. Huh? I'm Doc, handyman, trash hunter, spare parts dealer, brain surgeon. I own a small store on the floating black market. You might know my slogan from the communal broadcasts. Machine head, proper head, all the same to me. Visit Doc! Da -da 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 -da. They call him Rufus. Yeah, I know that one. I'm a handyman myself. Ah, a colleague. Very good. What are you working on at the moment? <laughs> Roughly speaking, a plan to reach Elysium. Why, look at you. 
daring to try the impossible. I like that. There's a man who doesn't get distracted by the impossibility of the task at hand. Exactly. One who'd rather risk a bloody nose before he accepts that he can't break through a wall with his head. Uh, yeah, I Exactly. <laughs> I like you, Rufus. Always towards the sun. And when the wings start melting, he makes sunglasses from the molten wax. Yeah, I'm a pretty cool guy. Spare parts and brain surgery? What a strange combination. You think so? I always thought that both professions are more or less in the same vein. Oh, I see. Like genius and madness. I'll take that as a compliment. But you're damn right! So what are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? Well, you look like a wombat ruffling through the trash hunting for food. I'm looking for spare parts. I knew that. Well, found anything yet? If you know what you want, you'll always reach your goal. Hey, that's my family's motto. Oh, no, wait. My family's motto was, it's enough to know how to light a fire. There will be others around who know how to operate an extinguisher. Is it far to the Lower Ascension Station? No, no, not at all. Great. It's right behind this mountain of trash. Grandissimo. Right behind the unbeatable mine maze. Terrific. Let's do a thought experiment in case a fellow handyman would face a problem. Really, just hypothetical. Handymen don't know any problems. Only challenges. Oh, my thoughts exactly. But handymen help each other out when they face a challenge. No doubt about it. That's the second most important rule of the handyman's code. Right after, ne'er show thy nail gun to the other handyman's wife, lest he'll show you his at very close range. Yeah, uh, important rule. All right, shoot. What's the trouble? When the mine bike doesn't start, for example. You mean that rust bucket over there? What does it do? Well, it rattles a little, and then the engine dies. <laughs> it would seem that the good old wing brake parallel shank is inverted on the horizontal axis inside the dorsal rump emanator once again, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, the... Uh, Parallel shank. Oh, you know, that always happens to me, too. You better be happy that it wasn't anything serious. That's no real problem for us handymen, right? No, of course not. I just wanted to get a second opinion. Why, really? How could there possibly be two different opinions about a thing like that? The avial power inverter is shot. And what a stroke of luck. I just found one. Here you go. Hey, great. This is exactly what I need, <laughs> seemingly. Uh, What's wrong? Shall I help you fitting it, too? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Nonsense. Fitting an avio power thingy. I, I can do that in my sleep. Well, I did that once. The next morning, my wife left me. Since then, I've given up sleeping on waterbeds. Is there anything else? My girlfriend has a malfunctioning brain implant. You've come to the right place, then. It has to be destiny that our paths cross. Does that mean you can fix it? Of course I can. Perfect. But not here, I'm afraid. Oh. Just bring her to my practice on the floating black market tomorrow. Tomorrow, you say? Oh, crap. That's too late. No, no. You can walk about for weeks with a malfunctioning brain implant without any serious long-term damage. My wife managed to go about her business with a charred frontal lobe chip for two years. Two years? Yes. She could only speak gibberish. It's a shame that I didn't even notice. Is there anything else? Nothing that I can't handle myself. Very well. You want a job done well, you do it yourself. DIY for the win. Is that booze? A handyman's best friend, yes. Steadies your hands and frees your mind. Lowers the inhibitions to get your hands close to rotating blades. And is as good a disinfectant as it is a painkiller. Go on, have some. There's enough for the both of us.
I was talking about one sip, not the whole bottle. <laughs> Did I tell you that I have herpes? What the, so what's the big idea drinking from my bottle? I'm a doctor. Amongst other things, I can't afford any disfiguring infectious diseases. Who'd be willing to undergo brain surgery if I had one? Yeah, who would? Wipe the bottleneck clean at once and thoroughly. Okie dokie. <laughs>